situations. I've been in Parliament a long time and I've seen many decisions taken. And in moments of clamour and moments of fervour, decisions are made, go here, invade there, bomb there, do this, do that. It's the easy situation, the media build it up, there's lots of military advice, there's lots of apparently simple and easy solutions. Tragically, wars don't end when the last bullet is fired or the last bomb is dropped. The mourning and the loss of soldiers of all uniforms goes on. The mourning and the loss of families that lost loved ones because of bombardments and fighting, that goes on. The refugees move on and on. And there are whole generations of refugees around the world that are victims of various wars. So those desperate people in camps in Lebanon, in Jordan, in Libya and so many other places. Desperate people trying to cross into Turkey and other places. They are all, in a sense, victims of wars. So surely, 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 our objective ought to be to find peaceful solutions to the problems of this world. To spend our resources on helping people, not hindering people. And to try and bring about that world of decency, human rights and justice. And so none of this is simple, none of this is easy. But surely we have a principle between us all, that we are all human beings on the same planet. We're all human beings who want to live. We're all human beings that want the children to live and the next generation to hopefully be better off than we are. And you think of those families eking out an existence in refugee camps all around the world. They too are ambitious. Their children too want to be artists, poets, writers, engineers, lawyers, journalists, medicine, medical practitioners, doctors and everything else. The waste of human resources by the lack of human rights is one of the great crimes of the last and this century. So today here in Parliament Square, we as ordinary decent people stand up and say to our government, recognize your obligations in law, that would be good. Recognize your obligations to help people which you're required to do by law, that would be good. But above all, open your hearts and open your minds and open your attitude towards supporting people who are desperate, who need somewhere safe to live, want to contribute to our society and are human beings just like all of us. Together in peace, together in justice, together in humanity, that surely must be our way forward. Thank you very much for inviting me today.